Next up, I'd like to welcome Dr. Sarendra Dara, our director for the North Will Willamette, sorry, I'm gonna get that, Research and Extension Center. His talk is Key Elements of Developing an Effective Research and Extension Program. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Can you all hear me well? Yes. The next question is, can you all understand me well? <laughs> Very good, that is good to know. Well, uh, I grew up in India, then I came to the United States to study, then I worked in West Africa, in Benin, Nigeria, and then again came back to North America. And as a volunteer, I worked in different countries, uh, India, Bangladesh, uh, Myanmar, Haiti, Guatemala, and so on. And I had this opportunity to train farmers in different areas of crop production and pest management. I'm an agricultural researcher and extension, um, I don't want to say that the word specialist, but a person. And based on my experience working in different places, I can confidently say that wherever extension is working well, farmers thrive. And I have seen it from my experience in all these countries and also my own experience of doing uh, work in California for um, nearly 14 years in high value crops. So based on my experience and observations, I thought there is a good um, model or some key elements for developing an effective research and extension program. That's what I wanted to share with you. So the first thing is assessing and anticipating the needs of the farmers. Many of you are working in different areas, but you, you know some of these elements are more or less the same for everything, uh, any program. Then we have to develop a solution or solutions to address those needs, then deliver them effectively, and then measure the impact of the solution we delivered. Right now you can see the full picture here. <laughs> so how do we assess the needs or anticipate? Assessing the needs, it is simple, that uh, surveying. But survey can only ask certain questions, and not everybody responds to these surveys. So we also need to continuously engage uh, in conversations with our stakeholders, because it's not a, a questionnaire or not one or two uh, you know, interactions. It has to be a continuous process, because the needs continuously change, and we have to do this regularly communicate with them and also we need to observe what is happening regionally, nationally and globally. In agriculture we have seen how uh, our natural resources are dwindling and how invasive pests and diseases are becoming a big problem and the climate change is also uh, exacerbating these issues that we are facing. So we need to both talk to our stakeholders and find what their needs are and sometimes we need to anticipate too. I just want to give you a quick example of what I have done in California. I was working in these uh, uh, small fruits and vegetables, very high value crops and integrated pest management is one of my responsibilities. And most of, most of the time, growers use chemical pesticides or synthetic pesticides to control pests, but my expertise is in biologicals, using microbes to control pests. When I started that work, many people, including my colleagues, uh, you know, did not think that was a good idea because nobody uses these, why are you wasting? But 10 years down the road, it has become a popular thing. So that is something I observed as a need, although growers did not ask me to do, uh, but I had to do that, anticipating the need. The same thing happened with invasive pests. We had some invasive pests um, there, and way before they came to our region, or even our state, in our, in the sense, California, I started working and producing outreach material. So these things prepare our stakeholders uh, to you know, potential issues even before they are aware of uh, those issues. The next part is developing these solutions. We don't always have to do applied research to find a solution. There are, uh, these problems exist in other parts of the world or other states or in other crops. So looking at the published research, we can sometimes develop quick, uh, some solutions quickly. 
before we get a chance to do applied research. So when we do applied research, we can also, we, we need to make sure that it is practical. The solutions we develop are practical. And then we have to ensure that we use all sorts of outreach methods, which we commonly do about writing and giving presentations. But we also need to promote what we do when it works well. When we write these articles, it is important to use the sources that our stakeholders can access. We, this is where we need to balance our university needs for you know, uh, professional development or professional advancement of peer-reviewed journals, and at the same time, we need to write or publish where growers can access that information. And finally, and most importantly, measuring and documenting the impact of our work, not just because we need to report it, but we also need to know whether it is working or not. So if there is a, uh, a, a correction we need to make about the solutions we delivered, we need this, you know, measuring this impact works. So again, we can do surveys and engage in conversations and also look at other kinds of reports. Uh, uh, if, if we are talking about pesticides, we can look at pesticide use reports or other trends, uh, how the cropping trends are changing. So using all these sources, we can measure and report uh, the impact of our work. Especially looking at the strategic vision 4.0, it is a transformation, excellence, and impact. So we want to transform the lives and operations of our stakeholders by doing excellent and impactful work. And I hope these, this model and these key elements help all of us to start working towards that. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Right. Thank you, Surendra. Does anybody have any questions? As we reflect on how an extension, in order to succeed, we have to be a little bit fortune teller, a little bit uh, cat herder, and also acknowledge that we're rarely in control, but we can try <laughs> with some structure and some frameworks to make it happen. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.